hello hopefully all of you are doing good it's been a while i know i posted something in my channel because a lot of changes happened in my personal life like i moved to a new country and then it took some time for, uh, for me to settle it down over here so hopefully i will be a little bit regular from now onwards so let's let's talk a very very simple thing today okay so previously if you are if you are following my channel so we we discussed about how to create a streaming custom command in in splunk using python sdk right now using that same idea we can build a very useful utility today called xml formatting so probably if you are working with lot of xml events especially the windows events and something right so if you want to see it very well formatted when you search for those events right you can use this particular utility so what we will be doing it today is like we will create a custom command which will convert those uh, non formatted xml data to a formatted one so probably i can i can let me go back to my search and reporting app so for that what i did is like i i just downloaded a very random xml file from internet and i just index in my main index over here okay so if i run this one for all time probably i think i have to run it for all time so if you see currently this xml looks something like this right so this there is a it's it just a catalog right with multiple books over here so the every book has their id their author their title and something like that right all this all their properties now if you see they are all coming in a single line right so i did two things over here if you see there is a sample one dot xml file i i just index the whole xml file in one event i also did one thing right like if you see this sample dot xml i just took each and every book and separately i even like i created event for them as well just to test whatever the custom command we will be developing today it will will work for both of these things over here okay so after using our custom command hopefully this will look more formatted way just the way we used to see the xml files now for that if you s follow this particular video so in that particular video description so there is a github link there okay so that will take you over here so so mainly what are the things we need is we need a commands.conf file and we need a python file over here so i already created that commands.conf file over here it's a very simple thing so whatever command you will be creating it so that command name will be the standard name over here right and then we will have the file name then other chunk and python version over here we'll be developing in python 3 so basically what the next requirement is we need to create this python file over here right so that should be in the bin folder so let's create that python file now now in this python file we will fill it up now for this development as we discussed in that video as well we need the splunk lib so you can get the splunk lib from this github link so splunk has this official github link for splunk python sdk so from there you just need to download this splunk lib and folder and keep it inside the bin folder of your app okay that should be fine now in that video we created this tmdb stream.py file right so let me copy this particular file over here now today okay so we will try to modify this one so we'll copy it we will paste it over here now what are the changes required the main changes first thing is the class name should be before the command this should be your command name right which is nothing but the xml pretty print so we will paste it over here and the same class name should be used in the dispatch as well so we will paste it over here that's the first change we will be doing it now if you remember in that video we created a input field name right so over here also you can create it so let's create two fields like one will be on which field you want to apply this particular command 
another will be let's say if you want to create a output field that field will be updated with the command output the formatted xml basically so let give the input field name let's create this one over here okay it's required should be false because we will be providing a default value over here okay so default it will always be applicable to the underscore raw field okay so similarly we can create a output field as well so let's give a name called output field okay similar it should be required equals to false and default equal to by default it will be formatting the underscore raw field as well and it will display in the event as well okay so that's why the default will be for underscore raw over here as well now in the stream method right what we are doing basically we are looping through these events and then yielding our modified events over there right now for the tmdv videos these things were required now we do not require these things we will be doing the code for the xml related stuff right so now even these things are also not required over here so let's clear it up let's clear it up over here as well okay now ultimately we will be we will be updating the output field name so that's why i am keeping it over here now for this video we will be using a very simple python package xml dom mini dom i think most of you already aware about this one right so i'll just import this guy over here here correct import this one now using this one first we will parse the string like whatever event coming up that underscore raw field right then we will prettify it so so this is how we can do it so we will create a variable called dom the parse dom then we will just use xml dom mini dom dot so there is a method called parse string over here right so here we will be passing the input field right so that will come from our event so this will be inside this sorry so this will be inside this one here we will be passing for passing the input field over here this input field name okay so that's first thing we will be doing it so that will give you the parse string as a xml parse string now in the dom there is a method called to pretty xml right so we'll be using this one so we can write for matted xml another another variable we will be creating it over here okay so we will write dom dot to pretty xml here and here we will be passing this guy over here okay so already we have passed it over here dom dot pt xml so now this should be enough to get the formatted xml and we will assign this formatted xml to the output field over here then we will yield this particular event over here right very simple code base now before before restarting splunk let us do another change over here in the local dot meta we will just add a stanza for our command as well so that our command will be available throughout our system right so if i just go to metadata and local dot meta so instead of get gener stream our command name is xml pretty print over here right so that should be enough let's try to restart splunk and see whether our commands works or not so i'll go to settings server control restart splunk okay our splunk has been restarted so let's see whether our commands works or not over here whether we have done any mistake so if i run this command this is how you will be running this command as it is a streaming custom command right so you'll be it will be working for each and every event over here so we got an error order dict object has no attribute input field name so let us see that so we are using input field name okay so event 
is a list of dictionary over here right so this will be something like this and input field name it should be something like self dot input field name right so from the event we are getting that value of the underscore raw field then applying this one over here the parse string over here so that's a as it's a python change so we should not that there, there should not be any restart needed over here so let's see that now now if you see it is having this particular error not well formed invalid token line one column one right why it happened if i just run this one now if i see the events if you see for when i break it down over here right so there should be some event something like this one it broke in every line i broke it over there right so this is not an well formed xml over here xml structure maybe this one as well right so we just wanted to apply that particular command only on the xml events over here so how to achieve that so what we can do it over here is we can keep it in a try catch block so if it is able to convert that particular event to a well formatted xml it's well and good if we get any exception it will just ignore that right so we can just write try to do this one here right and if we have any exception we will just pass it so we'll just say accept exception as e and then pass it over here right let's format it and then we will just yield the event at the last okay so let's save it and if i go ahead and run the command now right so let's see whether what how it's working over here now and now if you see we do not have that particular error here it was able to find that particular event properly well formatted it was able to format it if you see it like for each and every book it just formatted the author title genre price in a single in a new lines over here it was able to do it for the whole event even it was able to do it for this particular event as well over here right so and somewhere over here and over here where it was not able to convert it it just ignored that those particular events over here okay so this is how you can use this splunk streaming command the custom streaming command using the splunk lib to create a very useful utility where you can uh, you can basically format a X, an xml event not well formatted xml event to a well formatted xml event over here okay and if you see it it we use that dom mini dom right and it creates not of lot of new lines over here so even if you want you can handle these things as well right what you need to do, do is like for each and every line if that line does not have anything you can just ignore that particular line that is also you can do so how to do it like let, let's see do that one so if i just import os we will just use that os line separator right so formatted xml before passing it to the event we can re reformat it again basically ignoring the new line over here so you just os dot line sep dot join right so for s for for s in formatted xml dot split lines right so we are basically taking each and every line if s dot strip right and we will be ignoring those lines which have blank over here okay so let's see now how it i would looks like this this particular event as well over here so if we run it now if you see now now it is very much well formatted as well so those new lines are gone now 
okay so there are a lot of improvements you can do it over here right but this is this is the basic idea of how to use a custom command to create an utility over here okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video